When you become married, your personal life becomes even more personal. And growing up in the Christian environment um, with my parents, my mother was a constant reminder of that. She always taught us that you don't share, you don't go outside of the home and share what your personal experiences are as it relates to your marriage. And that I find to be very true. As a married woman myself, I've found it a struggle to just connect with someone when there's a challenge. It's not easy. It's very personal. Those are very intimate details that you are opening yourself up to share with others. And I remember mother, and I often wondered why she didn't communicate or open up and wasn't surrounded by lots of people. She had the aura about her. She was a very sweet and humble person. Um, just her presence. People knew when she walked in a room, but there was something I noticed. I watched her all the time, and that was she was very careful, very selective in the people that she, she surrounded herself with. And that taught me that she was securing herself, and she wanted to be secure in who she was as a wife and a mother. And those details, she kept intimate. She was a praying woman, and her partner in life was God. She taught us how to pray through situations, and I've got to say, that's been my go-to. And looking back on that, it, it brings back those memories, those feelings of just watching mother and seeing her go through uh, different challenges. But what I learned the most was she was always a woman. She was always a wife. And she made the choice to live life and accept the love from people around her. She didn't need an audience. She didn't need to become popular. Um, and I see in today's society, we're taught as wives to spend more focus and energy on our husbands and our children. And I'm not saying that that's wrong, but we have to uh, realize that we are still our individual selves in doing that. And from hundreds of conversations with other wives, the common denominator is we lose ourselves to our marriages and we become isolated. And that's not um, a doorway or a pathway for us to live our best lives because you're not communicating. We shut down that line of communication with other wives. And I think that seeing my mother go through that has put me on a different path. Although I have found myself in that very desolate, very lonely uh, place as a wife. Um, it's a harsh saying, but I am a believer that being married doesn't equate to being whole or loved. Friendships outside of your marriage are just as important. And my mother, unfortunately, uh, limited herself with who she exposed herself to. And she didn't have that outlet. And uh, I would say to you, from my own personal experience and getting off this lonely island, Wives, we need each other. We offer the type of friendships that no other relationship will give us. Uh, you can't uh, find another person that, that shares or shows more empathy than another woman. No one will support you like another woman. No one will cry with you. I've had a lot of lonely nights of crying. I, I wish that uh, there was someone there for me, ideally my mother, bless her dear heart. But just looking back on that, you have to be able to be vulnerable. You have to be willing to be vulnerable. My mother wasn't willing to be vulnerable. She accepted uh, who she was and moved on with life, but later regretted it. I don't want either of you to feel that you have to live in regret. Um, it's, it's a dark road. 
So I think it's important that we pull each other in. We have to get off that island. You know, you have your rescue flag and you're afraid to pull the, the, the liver to ask for help. We become so isolated and we're not communicating. And that's the worst thing we can do. We need each other. Oh, my God.